Trump's 2020 platform. There are four key issues that Trump will be pushing for in his second term if he were to win. So let's break down each one of them and then talk about the other small things that he will be doing in the background as well if he were to win. Let's start with number one. Number one is the push to remove the payroll tax. Without going into too much legal mumbo jumbo, Trump is planning to defer the payroll tax. And actually, it will be going through. The plan will be those in the private sector will have the ability to opt in or opt out of the payroll tax, which will see an increase in your paycheck in the short term. The negative is from January 2021 till April 2021, you will see a decrease in pay if you decided to go with the payroll tax being opted out. This is the key move for Trump, though, as he wants to terminate the tax completely or in the very least absolve the debt for what's going to be occurring if he were to get reelected. To do this, though, he will need Congress's help in passing that. So what exactly does the payroll tax fund? They fund a variety of different social insurance programs such as Social Security and Medicare. The plan to terminate the payroll tax will greatly impact these two programs, which Social Security is already short on funds and will be depleted by 2037. Whether or not you agree with Social Security being defunded and Medicare, the issue is that people have built their future on the guarantee of Social Security. If Trump plans to remove the payroll tax, there will be a lot of questions on who depend on it, what they're going to do, as well as the people that are about to depend on it, on what they will have to do. This could very well be a big portion of the elderly going against Trump as well. If Biden wishes to capitalize on this, then you'll have to do it on the debate stage. The payroll tax, though, is only a smaller part in the overall game plan for Trump, which is to tackle the enormous debt, which this does mean that he has to start slashing programs, all while trying to revive the economy after what COVID did. Keep an eye on this going forward into the debates, as Trump will be able to give a more concrete plan on what he wants to do. Another big ticket for Trump will be a focus on health care, specifically the high costs that are related to health care as well as the hidden costs. Back in 2019, he pushed out an executive order that helped patients be more informed on the cost for their care, such as showing what rates are negotiated between payers and providers. Trump seems to be wanting to push further into this field, help open up competition, which will hopefully drive down costs. Which, if he's able to sexually drive down the costs and prices of healthcare, that will help alleviate the pains for when Medicare funding gets slashed from his payroll tax uh, deduction. Also, if he is able to take it away completely, then that will, of course, help out there. Again, that portion is more of a theoretical for me, however, and we'll see how it all plays out. Next on Trump's 2020 plans, let us go over to China. China has been extremely aggressive over the past couple of years, and it's a big point for Trump to stomp against this. Personally, this is one of my biggest points and why I support Trump for this upcoming election. Excuse me for the mispronunciation, but China's treatment of the Uyghurs is absolutely disgusting. At least 1 million have been interned since 2017 all in what were once denied camps but now labeled as re-education centers. They are being persecuted for their religion. Trump administration has already been harsh on them. For example, in 2019, he condemned the Chinese for their actions. However, let us assume that the actions that China was telling us that were really true, that these are just simple re-education centers and have no nefarious means behind them. The other atrocity that China is committing is how they're stifling those in Hong Kong. A good summary can be read over at the BBC, which is down in the description below, or also the New York Times piece on it, which again is in the description below. Trump has shown a willingness to fight China and has made it a big point of his 2020 campaign. Now while I do believe those two points are huge, I'm going to ignore the other key issues that China is committing right now towards the world and that is their actions towards Taiwan as well as their aggression in the South China Sea, which are progressively getting worse and worse for both of them. China is a threat to the Western world and to democracy and the Trump administration is pushing against them and that alone makes Trump 
a very desirable candidate, even with his flaws. Now, there's one last final policy push that he's going to be doing, which is the obvious one, immigration. I know it's a joke at this point, but Trump is going to continue to build the wall, pushing into his next term if he were to be elected. However, Biden has openly talked about wanting to take it down. With Biden wanting to take it down, everything that has been built so far would be a waste of taxpayers dollars which again that's a sunken cost fallacy that i'm bringing up but that is my perspective on it now i'm sure he'll want to continue to tackle the wall and immigration as a whole as it's one of his docket issues as listed on his website again though go check out his website for more of a breakdown on it and also this point's already been talked to death repeatedly since trump's first term as he made the wall a big pushing point these are the four big tickets, however, that we know Trump will be pushing for coming into this 2020 election cycle, and they will be hot topics coming into the debates. However, there are also a bunch of side points that he will be pushing for, one of which will be trade as always. And he will continue to do a decrease in involvement in other nations' affairs, which he's currently doing, such as when we've seen Trump pull out 12,000 troops out of Germany. And maybe another big point is the fact that the potential judicial branch seat will open up in Ginsburg's place. I do not wish ill will towards her, and I hope for the best for her. But she is progressively getting worse and worse. She has served her country valiantly. And I can only hope she pushes past the troubles she's currently experiencing, but for her own health, I do hope she steps down. In either case, her seat will eventually open, and this will leave a spot that the Republican Party will want to secure. So, Trump is going to want to win the 2020 election and Republicans as a whole to take that seat. And with that, we have covered everything that Trump plans to do going into this 2020 election. I hope that this gave you a little bit of a guide and hopefully you're able to research more off of this video. But in either case, God bless America and have a great day.